Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I'm flying my DJI Mini 2 uh, at my son's, uh, in my son's front yard. We live in the backyard, <laughs> and uh, we had some issues uh, a while back with the septic tank, and so uh, they decided that they would go ahead and have it pumped, and it was quite an issue that we had. But anyway, so it's uh, it's July and it's 95 degrees, and this was uh, some a little after 10 in the morning, so it wasn't a super hot day. And as you can see, if you look carefully, the maximum temperature of the battery was uh, 125 degrees, so it didn't get. You can go up to 140. And this is a drone picture that I took when they first moved in, <clears throat> and. Uh, they had just had a new uh, septic tank installed, so I got up above and uh, shot down, got some pictures, so I showed it to these guys, and they they knew where to where to start digging. <clears throat> I've had uh, I've had septic tank issues in the past. <laughs> uh, the house that when we um, uh, lived in Pasco, uh, we had a, uh, an old house that was 800 square feet, I think. And it had been, it was, uh, it was a, it was built during the war uh, to, uh, for, to, for servicemen and stuff. And then, and then they moved it to where it was located when we bought it. And it had a septic tank. Uh, and so when we went to sell it, the lady that bought it was, she was real fussy. And she wanted to have the septic tank pump before she'd buy the house. Well, I had never, we'd lived there a long time, and I've never, we never had any septic problems, and so it was probably time to uh, to have it pumped, and, uh, but I had no idea where it was, so uh, the, the bathroom faced the backyard, uh, but just outside the bathroom uh, window, you could see there was a, a driveway, so I didn't think it would be underneath the driveway, <laughs> So I just kind of went straight out from the bathroom and uh, into the uh, past the edge of the driveway and started digging with a pick and shovel. <laughs> and I dug and I dug. Back then, of course, I was young and I could just dig and dig and dig like that guy's doing down there. Uh, he's really working hard. He's busy. So anyway, I was able to actually... Uh, find it it was down it was down quite a ways i think it was down about a foot and a half and i found the i found the lid and uh, so then we called to have it pumped and the guy came and pumped it and then he, he even went down inside and inspected it <clears throat> which he put his ladder down there i don't i don't think he even wore a mask or anything he just went down and made a quick quick look at it so it turned out it was okay so uh we had it pumped and there's my sweetheart over there on the right. We had it pumped, and then we sold the house. Then we moved up to to a Spokane, eventually, and uh, we uh, bought a house uh, on Trent Avenue. If you knew Spokane very well, uh, out east east of uh, Spokane, and it had a septic tank, <clears throat> and. Uh, so, uh, and, you know, we didn't pay much attention to it. It would never flooded or anything. We didn't have any trouble with it. But when we decided to move to Spokane or move to Arizona from Spokane, we had to sell the house. And as it was, uh, they had put in a sewer along the road when, which wasn't there when the, when the guy built the house back in the fifties. So, uh, I can't remember what it was, but we were required to connect up to the sewer. And so, so the first thing we had to do was find where the septic tank was, and nobody knew for sure. But, uh, once again, I kind of came out straight from the bathroom, and, uh, we had, it was, uh, it was a surprise because I found it without too much trouble. And, uh, it was an old concrete one. And, uh, so we'd, you know, we dug and dug, and we got it so it was could, you could uncover it. And then the, uh, uh, we, in in order to run to the run a line to the sewer, we had to uh, break holes in the side of the septic tank uh, and bypass it because you couldn't go around it. So we just had to go right through it, 
And so uh, my son Bruce, bless his heart, he's the guy standing down there with the walking up and taking a look at things, who's providing us a place to live here in Arizona. Anyway, um, he went down into the uh, to the tank. He had a, he had a special mask, so he was down in the tank. And in order to uh, to leave a septic tank, you have to drill a bunch of holes in the bottom with a concrete drill, and then. Uh, you have to, you know, and then he had, we had to put a hole in it, and then we had to fill it with sand. By the way, the name of this company is Cartwrights, and um, they were highly rated. The people uh, next door and some folks uh, around in the neighborhood, uh, they they recommended these guys. So uh, that's why we chose them, and they seem to be doing okay. I didn't ask the guy if he knew Ben Cartwright. If you ever watched the old uh, Bonanza series, of course, maybe you're not old enough. <laughs> anyway, that is a joke. Uh, so anyway, so he got, he drilled the holes and we filled it with sand. And then, of course, we had to have uh, the yard trenched to where we could lay the sewer. And my son laid this, laid all the sewer pipe and uh, just did a whole, con a whole bunch of really nice things for us. And uh, I laid the sewer pi pipe and then he borrowed a bobcat <clears throat> and filled in where they where the excavator guy had uh, had dug the trench and uh, so he he filled it in for us <clears throat> and then of course we had to uh uh level out the ground and try to make it look nice for people so anyway uh that was our experience with a septic tank in Spokane so then uh, after moving down to Arizona the place where we lived was on the sewer, so uh, this is the first place that uh, that we've uh, lived here in Arizona where they had a septic tank. And um, <laughs> we're hoping not to have any more problems. The, this company was they real, as you can see, just watching them. They're very thorough, and the guy knew uh, knew what what uh, you know. He knew a lot of details about uh, laws and everything. In fact, he was an inspector of. When they sold this place to my son, they had to, had to put in a new septic tank, as I think I mentioned, and he inspected the old one and found that it wasn't it wasn't uh, sufficient for what they needed. So uh, anyway, so I flew around and uh, got as much uh, details as I could while they were while they were filling up the or digging it up and filling it or draining it and then filling the dirt back in and so anyway. That's it. I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless.